I definitely pay attention to trends. I don't personally feel I need to come to those trends, but I definitely pay attention to them. It's involuntary. Um, flat out. It's just I can't help pay attention to them. If it's visual based, if it's audio based, I just notice it. I can't, I can't not notice it. And so this includes things like makeup. You know, I've, I've talked before about how, you know, you, you could show me some effects from a movie and I'll be able to tell you what year it was, the movie was made, or at least within a couple years anyway. Um, you can show me a little clip of a song and if I can hear any of the effects that were used in the song or any of the production techniques that were at any point used in the song, I can usually tell you what year it was made. And the same thing goes for fashion, same thing goes for makeup. And uh, right now, the trends in eye makeup, I don't personally believe in foundation. I, I, I don't believe in foundation or blush. I think that's stupid. I think it's offensive. To me, foundation says that, oh, your skin sucks. You need to look like a porcelain doll. You know, I, I think it's ridiculous. It's saying people should be ashamed of their skin. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of foundation. You know, I think, I think makeup should be used to enhance things. Enhance the lips. Enhance the eyes. Enhance eyebrows. But don't sit there and cover your entire face with something. Or you might end up looking like Jenny, whose face is is yellowish and lighter than the rest of her skin. You see this yellowish, yellowish lighter, and then the rest of her is kind of reddish. You know, it looks absurd. But that's what sometimes happens when <laughs> someone is... I think it's funny, she's a makeup artist, and, and that's what she looks like. <laughs> so... Um, well, it looks like this video is going to be a little bit too bright, but that's okay. Um, but there's a trend right now that I think is fugly. I mean, it's fugly. And it's been the trend for, I don't know, about four years, I'd say. Three, four years where... The inner part of the eye, this intersection here, they use a, a translucent white or just something that's much lighter than their skin on the inner part. And then right around the middle of the eye to out, they put darker. Sometimes they'll start literally really dark eyeliner in that, in that, that, that spot in the middle of the eye and outwards. Jenny does this. Dolly Parton does this. People who have had plastic surgery do this. It's this common thing with people who have plastic surgery. Like they messed up on their eyes and let's let's do this to make up for it so you don't notice. I think it's I think the reason why the pe people who have plastic surgery do that is because oh well this is the trend and if I do this, you know, people won't notice. What this thing does is it makes someone's eyes look like they're further apart than they are. It also does this to their face too. Like, you know, here's someone's eyes, you make it lighter, it makes it look like their face, um, where their, their eye sockets are, is angled out. You know, it, it really, it's, I don't think we should, people should do makeup in a way that you're, you're trying to I mean, that's one of the things that blush does. It's, it's to make it, let's make our face look like it's caved in here. You know, that's part of the, the purpose of blush. Like, that's one of the reasons why I find it, I find it stupid. You know, don't try to change the shape of your face. Don't try to change the shape of your eyes. I think that's, a, I think that's stupid. I think it's fugly. Sometimes it makes people look deformed. You know, Jenny, she makes her face look deformed with that shit. You know? This is why when, I, when I'm doing this, whether people think it looks ugly or not, I think it's good to go around the whole eye. You know, now, 
I would I would prefer it to be a really really thin line, but I can't afford the products that would let me do that. So I just work with what I can. But you know, and some of that is a bit of an '80s trend, somewhat a kind of a I don't know, like 1983. And then some of the ways that I do the the eyeshadow is is probably it's it's more of a 90s thing. And then there's a hint of the fact that I make it on these upper outer corners up here where I make it the most. That is a like a 2003, 2004 thing. So I kind of mix it up. But these trends right now in makeup, I mean, probably five years from now, we're going to look at this and go, what the fuck were we thinking? It's kind of like it, it, a Fox News hair. <laughs> Fox News hair. They they take the curling iron, they wrap the, their hair around it a certain way, then then let it loosely come out, and then don't comb it. Don't brush it. That would make it frizzy, but you have these these ringlets that are done this certain way, and you find it's it's been on Fox News for about four years. Almost every female host has this hairstyle. And we're going to look at that hairstyle about five years from now and go, ew, why were we doing this? You know. <laughs> but each each set of trends for a particular set of years, there's good things and there's really, really bad things, and I think it's sometimes humorous to point out the bad things. So, um, but <sighs> so yeah, I pay attention to the trends, but I definitely don't feel that I have to follow the ones that are current. Um, I think if someone feels they have to follow the ones that are current. It kind of makes them a little sheepish. <laughs> Sheep-like. Sheepish is a little different, uh, so I shouldn't use that word. Sheep-like. Um, you know, create your own personal trend. You know, mix and match with the different trends that have been in the past with each other. You know? But... Yeah, I'm. I, I, God, I made another version of this video, but the entire thing was blurry, and this one might be a little blurry too. I hope not. It looks like it could be a little blurry. But let's let's again hope not. But I know it's oversaturated. But um, I don't know what's going on with this camera tonight. Uh, but I'm hoping I'm not repeating myself. The styles that are current right now in makeup have a lot of influence from drag queen makeup from 12 to 15 years ago. And it's interesting how I don't know what it is about gay men somehow being ahead somehow somehow being ahead somehow. Let's be the Department of Redundancy Department. Um, and I've never been that big of a fan of drag queen makeup. I, I, I think it's gaudy. I think it looks horrible. It's it, it, I'm sorry. It's I just how I feel about it. They're the ones that started this thing with let's make our eye sockets look like this. And right now, these trends I'm seeing with with drag queens I shudder to think of it becoming a common thing uh, in 10 years. I shudder to think about it. Um, I mean, because they're taking to extremes this usage of light, uh, 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 you know, something that's lighter than, than their skin. Now, 
using the lighter color as some sort of highlight looks fine on really dark skin. The darker the skin, the better. Um, it's kind of the same thing as putting really dark lines on someone who has really light skin. You know, it looks good when used the right way on really dark skin. But if you're Caucasian, don't do that. That just, it just, ugh. It drives me nuts when I'll see this thing where they'll, right below the brow line, right below it, it's like, it's like using sharpness adjustments on an older television, well, some of the newer televisions. It's like using the sharpness adjustment and how sharpness works when you turn it up way beyond what, what is natural. It takes anything dark, it takes the area right around anything that's dark and makes it lighter so you see the dark more, right? And that's kind of what they're doing right around the eyebrow line. Let's make it really light right around the eyebrow line. It's like, yeah, it, it's, I, I am annoyed by it. I'm really, really annoyed by it. Uh, I, I really wish makeup styles would go a little more back to being just trying to accentuate certain parts of the face. Just accentuate things a little bit. Don't, don't try to change the shape of anything. Don't try to change it to make it look like the shadows fall in a different spot than they normally do. I, I just think it's hideous when, when that, that those trends are hideous. But that's my view. That's how I look at this. People probably think the style that I'm doing with this, even though I'm not doing it as well as I'd like to, they probably think this kind of style I'm doing here is hideous. Of course, some people think it's hideous just because it's on a guy. But I don't, I don't really take that view on it. So, anyway, this video is long enough, and let's hope that it's not completely blurry like the last one.